as you know, most of Las Vegas's major resorts are open again. Slowly, shows up and down the strip have come back to life. It's a bit of a taste of normal in very abnormal times. But there is another hotel and entertainment venue nearby that's just trying to hang on. I visited Death Valley Junction, California to see the most unique spot of them all. It's a reminder of what could happen. A mural inside the Amargosa Opera House and Hotel. Painted desolation, sands twisting into the air, a crystal ball into a world where this outpost fades under the weight of pandemic. It feels like a very magical place. General Manager Bobby Fabian. We are in the middle of nowhere, so it's, it's, it is hard for people to kind of remember that we're here and that we do need help. Marta Beckett liked the isolation. Back in 1967, the ballerina and her husband stumbled onto Death Valley Junction and never left. This was her personal canvas, her own stage. When Beckett died, her ashes drifted into the desert sky. We were there for the first performance after her death in 2017. We have what I call the beauty of decay. Fred Conboy keeps her spirit alive. It's getting harder to do. We see that the ruins of Death Valley Junction as not an option. Coronavirus forced it all to close down back in March. The hotel reopened a few weeks ago, but only at half capacity. This is one of the few times anyone has been in the Opera House for months. Beckett's painted audience never left. People do want to, you know, see the stage being used and uh, Marta's legacy live on. Until then, the Opera House and Hotel have this GoFundMe page. Money raised helps keep the lights on, pay the few staff still here, and make sure Marta's creation doesn't drift away. It's something that needs constant work. It's like it needs to be nourished and loved, just like Marta loved it. Beckett found the poetry of living in this remoteness. The next act is keeping her show alive on the desert's most desolate stage. There's a conspiracy of all those wonderful things that come here that still offer someone a chance to uh, feel uh, that this place will sustain, even if it were to fall into, the, into dust. Well, unfortunately, despite their best efforts, I spoke with uh, Fred Conboy via email yesterday. He says that the hotel is going to close again in December. Simply put, they can't get enough customers to make ends meet. However, the hotel is still raising money for expenses because they still want to preserve the property so they can open it later on. We have a link to the hotel's website and the GoFundMe page at 8newsnow.com.